Hello, I'm BX Toycat, and welcome back to episode 8 of my TU31 Let's Play. This is a Let's Play I started for the most recent update that came out for Minecraft on the consoles, and which so far I've had quite a bit of fun with. Uh, you know, obviously we've built some houses, we started work in a city, but we haven't started work on one of the mega projects I like to do, and I've done a few times my old Let's Play before, and I figured I'd do one of those today. And the theme of this one is actually going to be like kind of transportation, because transport is an issue that every major city faces. If you live in a city, you know, getting from one end to the other is something Thing that you need to be able to do pretty easily so you can work there or so you can just get there for whatever reason and basically every city has some way in place to deal with this and if you think about a Minecraft representation of this if you want to transport around a certain place you can have a flat ground like you can see right here and then you use it as a road and you can be like ah look I can run and jump and it's kind of fast or you can use a horse or something and that's kind of working but it's actually kind of slow then the next uh, logical step is like oh we we'll use minecarts and minecarts are really fast but the truth is they're not so practical the problem with minecarts is you know obviously they require so much rail, you need some redstone if you want to get the system working well, and basically it requires quite a lot of steps just to make a, you know, reasonably fast system, and then you got to work out where to put the minecart, right? all, all that sort of stuff comes in. So the next uh, logical method is by boat, of course, but boats only work if you have water. I mean, I'm sure I don't need to explain that to you. Like, if, if you know, if you don't have water, the boat's not going to work. And in this case, we do have a nice river, which can take me straight from the, you know, the edge of the city, or I guess that's technically the center, all the way out to here, back to the, the houses, and that's kind of nice, but it doesn't get me around the place itself, and it's not really too viable as a major way and that's gonna be always gonna be the truth about boats right you need water for the boats to work again that <laughs> seems pretty logical but what if you could build uh, what if you could make your own water in a city without just making a river what if we made a floating river so it could be kind of like a you know like a, a monorail kind of deal where it goes through the sky but what if it's a boat way of doing that and uh, the term I'm gonna be using it like kind of like a cross between a motorway and boat system so a boat away is what we're building in today's part so if you like the sound of that or you have been enjoying the let's play in general please do like the video and let me know because it does help out the channel a lot and it lets me do like it and have you know you, you want you have been enjoying let's play week so far because this is day three of let's play week as i'm sure you're probably familiar and if you're not then uh there's a couple of days of let's play week that you missed anyway so yeah uh, let's start by talking about exactly how we're going to be making a floating boatway system because also, I'm going to keep saying boatway until it like ingrains in your head. It's like, oh, yeah, that move makes sense. But yeah, basically, um, we're going to be making a floating. We're going to be making a floating boatway system, and the way we're going to be doing it because it sounds ridiculous. We should have floating water normally, like you're going to require a glitch or something there. Um, also, we're going to be moving this because I realized. Um, for you, it'll come back. I'll come around to it later. But yeah, uh, basically, um, the way we're going to do this is uh, by using signs because water can be stopped in a lot of different ways. There's a lot of ways to stop. Oh, it's using the wrong type of word. Whatever. Um, water can be uh, stopped in a, in a bunch of different ways. You can, uh, you know, obviously you can have a uh, you know like just blocks in the way you can have uh, ladders you can use a lot of different ways to stop water one of the most interesting ones to me is signs because signs have a bunch of really weird properties in minecraft and uh, one of the things i tested uh, when the wii u edition first came out that i really wanted to test here is having kind of a flowing boat system by doing this system, uh, thing so we have a bunch of redstone which we're going to need for the pillars of the system and we're going to place one just at the corner of here so let's grab some of this and the reason by the way that i moved that um granite block i did a second ago is because i um, you know this city operates on blocks it looks like it's about 15 blocks between each block to the next one. So from here to over here, it's 15 blocks, so on and so forth. And that means that uh, basically we need to make sure that, uh, you know, this the edge of this doesn't get caught on the edge of this. And because I'm going to need to be using this uh, just over here. So, uh, yeah, basically this is going to be a pillar, which because, you know, it, it, although it's going to be floating through the sky and it's going to look cool, I do need to be grounded on something. And I might also put some rails on the side. So I'm going to make it out of redstone blocks just to make my life easier later. And yeah, if we just do that for now, we have a redstone block. And this is kind of like the pillar keeping up and then we just place signs onto that then now these signs if we were to place water above them which we are going to by the way <laughs> if you were to place water above them they will now uh, the water will not be able to flow downwards below us because again signs work in some bizarre ways and this can be used in a bunch of different minecraft applications but the you know the, the really interesting one in this case is going to be the boat way so then as long as we just cut off the sides so we just have uh, you know we, if we have a bunch of signs going like this which um, by the way we can't actually make it match all the way along because signs aren't like pistons where they're based in the direction you're facing they're just based on the block you place them on so if I place them on the side of this block it's gonna be like that even if i try as hard as i can i get a diagonal angle here it's still gonna go just perfectly there because it's based on the block you place on which i do kind of like in some ways but it does mean in this split case that we have to have every now and then these weird kind of uh things going like this and i think they can look kind of cool but it's going to look bizarre when we have you know the the block on the other side that's like over here for instance wait one two three yeah it's gonna be over here and uh, then it's going to be not properly connected but yeah for now that's how that'll look and then above once we have some blocks on the side so uh 
if we grab some, uh, we, we use dark oak wood for that, I reckon, because uh, I, I think dark oak wood would look pretty nice. Then what we can actually do is we can have, uh, you know, a waterway system, which doesn't seem like it makes any sense, but yet it actually will, or hopefully it actually will. And yeah, so we're going to be placing a bunch of signs. And obviously in this Let's Play, if you don't already know, I like to talk about things that, you, you know, you might not have known or like maybe, maybe learn you a thing or two during the, uh, the course of the episode. And today I wanted to kind of talk about learning in general, which is very bizarre things to do. Also, I think, um, just so you can see, uh, so we know how far we're going, I think we'll have these every 15 blocks to correspond with the 15 blocks of the, the city. I, I think that just about makes sense. Uh, or maybe it doesn't. Maybe it should be slightly more to account for that. I'm not entirely sure. Maybe we should just have these whenever we feel like it. No, I, I think standardized would be better. So let's just say 15 for now. So this is one, two, three, four. We just need to go to 15. So anyway, while we do this then, um, basically I wanted to talk about Lally because every now and then I'll go on to some weird not rant, but like I'll start talking about something weird, like uh, infinities, or you know, it, it, I'll talk. I'll start talking about something like that, and someone will be like, "Oh, it's okay. I, I I just left school. This is too educational for me." And although I think it's cool that you know some of you are still in school or college or whatever it is, um, you know, the truth is when you're in any form of educational system, it you are kind of taught that education is bad, which is bizarre that you know you're taught the thing that you, or you're not really taught directly, but you know you kind of learn that oh, this is the thing I have to do every day. But the truth is, the education that you have to learn to you know, get a degree or to get blank or to get, you know, basically to get any form of qualification out of it isn't really the same as actually learning, you know, the day-to-day -day stuff that I think is really cool. And I think, you know, the stigma that knowledge or like learning is bad is something that really comes from some truth, but really shouldn't be, you know, considered as true. Because th the thing is, is there's a lot of, like, when you, when you, you know, leave education or whatever, there's a lot of really cool things you can learn that you're like, oh, yeah, that's pretty cool. And I think the reason behind it, uh, I was thinking about this quite a bit, is because when you're in school, so the example lots of people give is like, oh, so, uh, you know, we have to do all this maths, and yet, you know, they still didn't teach us about blank, blank, blank thing I found was interesting. Uh, the reason for that is because, you know, they're trying to always find this line between kind of interesting, so sticking your brain, and also really practical. And the truth is, you know, I, I feel like schools and colleges and stuff will never get that line exactly right, because it's always going to be changing, like everyone has their own perception of what's interesting. And that's also, that's one of the big reasons that I think that if you're going to be learning, if you want to actually actively learn something, like you want to learn some history, or you want to learn this, or you want to learn that, if you want it to be like a professional thing, you go through the official methods. But if you just want to learn about something for fun, I'd say the best way is just to, you know, go on a wiki walk, uh, watch some YouTube videos or something, because there is some really, really cool things to learn. So for instance, um, some of my favorite examples of this that are just high. So like uh, the, the point I was trying to make with that is like there is a lot of knowledge out there that's really cool to learn, but it's impossibly impractical for the actual world. So next up, we're going to have um, half slabs along here and it's going to look really bizarre, by the way, but it's going to be pretty cool. But yeah, a lot of the, a lot of the, um, a lot of the uh, like coolest things to learn are impossibly impractical to use in any way, and that's why you probably won't learn them in a place like that. So, for instance, um, some of the things, uh, some what's well, something I learned recently. Uh, this is a quote from Elon Musk. Uh, he was actually, you know, talking about ways that we could inhabit, you know, Mars if we wanted to, if we wanted to go there. And one of the suggestions is that we could nuke the poles of uh, Mars, which sounds so like, you know, it, it, it makes them sound, you know, extra scary and stuff like that. But, you know, if you, if you, it's actually true. And it's one of those things that's like so cool to think about, because if we did that, if we just fired nuclear missiles, um, I've heard that it would have to be multiple <laughs> nuclear missiles, even at the strength that we have them on Earth. Uh, if we just fired them at the poles, it would, you know, defreeze a lot of the ice there and, you know, heat up the planet quite a bit and make it more suitable for an habitation. And we're not going to do it. It's just a cool theory to talk about and be like, wouldn't that be awesome? Because obviously, you know, you, it's, it's like saying, uh, oh, so let's look at New Antarctica so we can stay there longer. Like, you know, we, we want to be able to keep it how it is so we can you know, preserve it and then go there when we can actually deal with it. But still, isn't that the coolest idea, being able to nuke Mars? But it's, I mean, yeah, nuking Mars. But yeah, it's still never going to come up in, uh, you know, your science class because you've got to learn about stuff like, you know, atoms and... Uh, I, honestly, I'm, I'm failing to see what part of science is actually... Also, why is my bed not working? I, I'm failing to see, like, what part of science is, like, genuinely useful. Oh, it's the same thing that happened exactly last time. See, this time I'm going to learn from my previous mistakes, and I'm just going to wait. Oh. <laughs> or not. Um, but, yeah, so, um... I, I, I can't actually think what I learned in science. Like, I can only think about what I learned in, like, the extra science stuff I did in school. But, like, yeah, like, there's, there's a lot of stuff you learn there that has some almost practical stuff. Learning that you can nuke Mars is just going to inspire a lot of people to try and hit buttons at Mars. So, um, yeah, but there's also a bunch of other really cool things that you can, you know, that, that are really just theoretical and aren't actually that cool. So, for instance, um, one of the things when you get really down into science, uh, you actually learn that basically if you were to... Um, 
Well, if, if you want, if, if you wanted to work out how the entire universe would work out, if you could just measure the entire universe right now and measure the state, the direction, etc., of every single, uh, I think it's down to like the quantum particle, but you know, every single atom, every single particle, etc., then what you could do is you, if you could effectively model, uh, if you had an infinite amount of processing power, um, exactly you know uh, where each of those things will be in X amount of time. So, for instance, you could model um, exactly. Also, how are we gonna? Oh, wait, we'll just do it over the top there. But um, yeah, for instance, you know, you could work out literally anything you need to know because everything in the universe is made of those things. And that is just so cool to me. The fact that, you know, you, you could know everything there is to know in the world and all you have to do is... Um, you know, all you have to do is mention the whole thing. And again, it's entirely impractical, it's not going to come up, but like, the in-depth discussions you get from that are kind of crazy. And um, I wanted to actually, first of all, let's, let's show you the testing of this because I'm going to be really distracted while I'm doing it otherwise. So yeah, just uh, the next thing we're going to do now, to go back to the boat way, rather than talking about like impossibly impractical things that you will never learn, but I think are really cool. <laughs> oh, that, I, I said that sentence uh, quite well. I think I was, I, I was swear I'd make this up a bit. Yeah, so uh, we're going to place the but water up there and you'll see what actually happened. As, as long, okay, we made it. I wanted it to be a little bit longer in here, so let's grab some more of these. Uh, then, oh, jeez. <laughs> it's going to be such a pain, isn't it? So, if we just patch that up, then there we go. And then we do the same over there, on this side, except we... Oh, no, this doesn't need... This, this can be just fine. Uh, then what you'll actually see is, boom, we have water... For now, we'll just place one of these, but later on we need to replace that with something better. Uh, for now, we have a water which is floating entirely in the sky. And now you can see this is going to be like, kind of like, like again, like the monorail floating rail systems that I see a lot in like games that I played when I was younger. And I think it's just in American cities. Um, then yeah, basically what will actually happen. Also, we got a lot of seats now. Isn't that lovely? Um, what you can actually see is just above me, there's uh, some signs, and then just above that, there is actually some water. And this means if I place a block down here, even if it's a half slab, I think it should work. Did I do that correctly? Yeah, if we just have a half slab placed down here somewhere, it means we can actually jump into the water flow, which is pretty cool. It means you can get in and out of the system really easily. So you might be wondering uh, now as to exactly what this, these side things are here for. One, they make it look even cooler, because you can see um, even though it should be flowing off the side, it can't, because again, half slabs have that weird uh, property where they'll stop water, even though it makes no logical sense. And um, yeah, besides the half slab thing, uh, it also means that later on, if I want to place rails on here, I can. Right now, I'm not in a position to do that, but we could do that later if we wanted to. And if we just now go a few more blocks this way, then we could do this all the way alongside here. And I just want to, I just want to kind of show you the fact that it is entirely functional, even though it probably shouldn't be. It shouldn't make too much sense that it is, but it actually is. So let's just um, place a bunch of slabs going this way, and then let's get some more water and let's test out our system, shall we? So yeah, I'm actually kind of pumped about this. Like I said, I've never be, I've never given it a true proper test. Like I gave it a small one on the Wii U just to see if it worked. And um, this is going to be like a proper working system that I hope can take me all the way over there. But first, we do need more redstone because I really want to do these pillar blocks before I do anything else. And that's going to be that. So now if we just place, uh, let's just place on the side of the redstone block, because that's probably going to stay. Then boom, just like that, you can see, and we can just do this over and over again. Uh, in fact, let's get let's get a water system, and let's, or get a, you know, like an infinite water source, and let's just place one of those in the middle, so we can just do this really fast, rather than running right the way back to the rail. So, let's, um, for now, we'll place it inside, not inside the house. <laughs> that sounds like a bad idea. Uh, we'll just place it below here, actually, because we can make um, a brief little T-shaped one, I think. Uh, actually, wait, wait, we'll, we'll make, we'll, yeah, we'll make like a one shape like this, so then we place one over here. I think that makes an infinite source, right? No, that doesn't make an infinite source. Uh, uh, th there's a really easy infinite source one that everyone's always telling me. I think it's just an L shape, maybe. Uh, and everyone's always like, oh, that's so smart. But yeah, now we just do that, and now we've got an infinite source just over here, three blocks into it, and it's just fine like that. So now what we can just do is we can go up here, and we can place on every single block, you know, this, and then eventually it'll make everything into infinite sources, and then, once that's done, we can test the boat. Again, it's, I know for a fact it works. It's just really cool to show you. <laughs> and, uh, uh, that's going to be pretty cool, I think. And once we do both sides, I think the uh, the center should automatically turn. Otherwise, we do need to do some tricky block placements. But again, we, we can get into those later. So, oh, maybe we are going to run into that issue. So, can we reach down here? Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> I think we can actually maybe reach the sources from up here if we do it just right. And that's going to be really cool where you can reach through non-source uh, blocks to get to source blocks. So, we just place a block there. And then we reach through there. Ah, uh, it doesn't actually work properly. There we go. <laughs> and then we can just uh, infinitely grab like this. Place all the way along one side. Oh, there we go. We started making sources finally. Except I just grabbed one from there. And now that means we can use all of these to go. Unfortunately, we can't actually go further this way. So we have to go further this way. And hopefully you get the point there. So basically, yeah, it's going to start making sources. That's cool. Now let's make a boat. So grab a crafting table. Or make a crafting table, I guess. So now we'll just put that... Um, uh, on top of the on top of the cactus for now, I think. Oh, well, I mean, it's too far away. So we'll just place one um, over here, I guess, for now. 
Uh, again, I've got to find a proper place one later. And now we actually make a boat. So uh, transport, grab some. <laughs> I, I, my, my wood use today has been so crazy, but you know it's fine. There's there's plenty of trees around in the world. Uh, pro tip, you can just use up all the trees forever and nothing will ever go wrong. So now we go back to the boat, let me give this a small test and it should just um, let me you know, smooth sailing along it. So now nothing's affected, but we go this way. And then if we use water flows, which we can totally use if we want to, then just like this, we'll speed up massively and then it will knock us off the edge. And isn't that just the coolest thing? I mean, in that case, it reacted weirdly. Now we're in some grass, but we're still going. The momentum's still here. Except it's kind of glitchy. Whatever. Anyway, you see, the, the boat way is working. I really, really love this system. Um, I would totally, I, I'd say, if you have a need like this for it, I'd say it's a totally cool way to do that. Because, I, I don't know, like, you couldn't have, like, a free lane minecart system that worked anywhere near this efficiently. Because bear in mind, uh, you know, if I wanted to place, like, this much uh, railway, it'd be so tricky. But doing this over and over again with boats is actually going to be pretty easy once I get some redstone. So that's going to be my next goal, to be honest. Um, I'm going to be doing a little bit of work on the house. I just showed that thing. But then I think we're going to need to go find some redstone because we need a lot of that if we're going to be working on this because if we have a pillar every 15 blocks, that means we're going to need at least like 20, 30 redstone blocks. And right now, uh, funnily enough, uh, usually I have just an excess of redstone. Right now, that's not my issue. So instead, actually, let's work on the road system because I did mention brief, uh, briefly earlier, and since this is this is like a transport-themed episode, that, you know, we had a kind of block-based system. Uh, to, we, I want to make that block-based system a bit more ingrained. And to do that, we're going to place some sandstone. Because right now, our roads are made out of sandstone. I don't know if that will change later. But for now, it's actually going to stay that way. And yeah, we just uh, chop up, well, grab, take all of this, um, you know, sandstone with us. Uh, how many blocks is that? 28 blocks. Then that should be enough to kind of at least indent the road a little bit and make something there. So also, it means I can patch up this just annoying crater in the road here. Which, most of which actually isn't my issue. It's the issue of whatever will be here instead. <laughs> but yeah, this, this for instance, just, just gone now. Oh, isn't that so much better? I'm, I'm fixing all the potholes. Uh, it's like in, in, in real life, except these potholes don't just kind of damage your car. They all damage you. They make you fall to your death. So yeah, with that said, we have to kind of make it go across here. And then this will be the very center of this place because if it's three blocks across there, uh, it looks like this is actually gonna be a slightly wider intersection to make way for this. Again, I, I really, really love this system for some reason, just being able to be in a half slab and just jumping into it. And uh, yeah, then we can have a cool like underground thing there. In fact, I could also make this just a cool way to walk through, you know, place from place in the city. Uh, you know, it, it kind of works that way. So yeah, that's um, gonna be that over there. Then I guess we'll make, we'll mark out the same over here somewhere. Uh, something I think I should do. So uh, now we have it over here. We count 15 blocks or easy way to count the 15 blocks is we use our, or we make some polished diorite, which we then use. Um, to mark out the building of his. We go one, two, three, four. I'll make sure it's four, not five now. And then we go one, two, three, four, five. And then that means that this can be not affected. Then this next bit over here is another intersection. So that means we go one, two, and then we replace this with some sandstone. And hopefully I'll be making some sense for the last bit. If I haven't, then that's fine. Uh, and let's actually start place, uh, wait, this is sand, not sandstone. Let's place that there. This is this is not the middle at all. This, this is the opposite. Oh wait, this is the middle over here using a pickaxe, because why not? Uh, there we go, so now now that's better, that's all good. Let's um go mine some, uh, oh, yeah, let's let's go mine some obsidian, which I'm gonna need for next part, and let's uh, continue my thoughts on um, things that you get. So I, I spend a lot of time focusing on the boatway things, so that's kinda cool, but I also wanted to talk a little bit about um, something that I had a comment suggestion telling me to talk about, and I was like, actually, I would like to talk about that a little bit, because, you know, I, I was mentioning how like, oh, if you knew everything with infinite amount of power, that'd be cool. But, um, you know, if uh, the truth is a lot of people think that having all the power in the world would be the coolest thing. But to me, that's never actually seemed appealing. And I think this is something if you haven't already uh, learned, then it's, it's a really cool thing to learn because then you don't crave eternal power all the time. I think having the ability to do anything makes it not so interesting to do something. So let's try that one cool done. So, um, for instance, um, you know, like if people who people who are billionaire, uh, like Notch, for instance, he's a billionaire, but he gets depressed because, or he has, even though he has all the money in the world, it means more problems. And I think if you had um, the super, uh, like a superpower that was just having the ability to, um, like you know, do basically you know have, having like you know, um, um, the all powerfulness or something like that, it wouldn't actually be such a good thing. I think the tr the truth is is actually be a little bit of a mess. Um, um, I, I've constantly I, every now and then I think about it. I think if I did suddenly wake up with the ability to be all powerful, or I worked out that it was like a video game that I controlled, or you know whatever you know scenario you work out that way. I think the best thing you could do for yourself is just 
give yourself a tiny bit of security. There are some things that do just make life better. Like, uh, let's just say you somehow hack the system and you give yourself a permanent income of like 5,000, you know, something a year. That's, that's just so that you don't ever have to go homeless. Then you have the security of that and then boom, now, now you enjoy your life like normal. I think that'd be the only change I might make. Uh, maybe I'd also like, I, I don't, yeah, if I, if I woke up all powerful, I don't think I'd make too many more changes. Like, I think I'd play around for it a little bit and then be like, oh, yeah, let's let's stop this. And, um, yeah, if, if any of you do ever wake up with uh, the ability to destroy worlds and change everything, uh, I'd recommend you don't use it. And I forgot where that came from, actually. I think um, the comment that inspired me on that one was someone uh, asked me to talk about a utopian city. And, you know, it, it, you, uh, you know, utopian city sounds like the coolest thing in the world. I mean, of course it does, uh we, we, we love to have things that are just perfect. But I think, uh, let's think about, like, the perfect anything is just non-existent. Uh, as, <laughs> see, this, this can, you can take this depressingly or you can take this um, to be a super cool thing. And I, I choose to believe that, you know, the first, the, the second way, sorry. Uh, and basically, like, as something in us uh, as, like, humans is always aiming to be better than before. And uh, this means that I don't think there's ever... Like, even if you compared the happiest person and the least, or the, you know, the most successful, the least successful, the most happy, the least happy person on earth, there wouldn't really be too much of a difference, because they're both, you're, uh, you know, uh, we're always still focusing on becoming better and doing stuff like that, and I think that's actually a really cool trait, because think of it this way, uh, if, if we just were all happy of stuff, if you live in a, in a Western country, you probably count as pretty rich as far as world standards go, which... I think I mentioned this a while ago, but like that is, um, you know, something that I didn't really realize. I thought that was people, something people just said, but no. If you're in a Western country, you're pretty rich by the world standards. You can, you know, be be comfortable working a job you love and do all these things like that. Uh, but everyone's always focusing on the next thing. Well, it's like, oh well, I, you know, I have a comfortable salary, but I can't afford insert technology project here uh, product. Sorry, yeah. And I know this, the the fact that we do that sounds terrible when you just look at it like, ah, oh, we're, we're never happy. But it's also really cool because it means, ah, uh, oh, well. Uh, you know, you might think you're cool because uh, that you, you've done insert thing here. But you know, I uh, I cured a disease which um, actually uh, saved ten thousand lives. You know, no big deal. But what, what did you do today, uh, Gary? And <laughs> uh, I, I was thinking that because every now and then, like the the subject of like that, I, I I tried to work out where the gap between like almost bragging is and uh, you know just trying to stay like, oh yeah, I'm pretty happy with something. And uh, the the truth is, I don't know if there is a line, but I think. If we were just a super braggy species, like, obviously there's a limit where you're just like, ugh. But I, I think, you know, in, in that situation, like, oh, yeah, I, I did, uh, you know, I, I, I cured insert disease here today. So that many loves. It's like, yeah, that's that's something you can brag about. And that's that's what I think we need to do is, like, uh, <laughs> I think I missed the point. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Let's, let's drag myself back on topic because I always, I always slide off on just, like, random tangents I've been thinking about. Um yeah, to, to slide back onto topic, just for, just for the briefest uh, few seconds, um, I, uh, to, uh, oh, jeez, okay, wait, let's, let's see if we can escape the creeper up here. Is he going to try and blow up anyway? Oh, jeez, he, no, 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 oh, that was so close. Um, so instead, we're going to go chop down some more trees, because I need a bunch more of those for signs anyway, um, and uh, since we've only got, a lot, like, another minute left, let's just finish off by saying, I don't know if there is a utopian anything, I don't think there's a perfect anything, and I don't think that's a bad thing, again, you can, you can take that as, like, oh, I guess everything will always be this bad, or you can take it as everything can always be amazing, you can, you can be in the, the worst situation in the world, and you can still be happy, and that's, that's something... I would urge everyone to try and think about. Or maybe I've got no way on that. But yeah, um, otherwise, if you just want me to, if that, that person was like, oh, well, I mean, if you're here, if you're answering the question anyway, um, utopian society, uh, what, would, what would it be for me personally? Um, I'd love a place where I... I actually, you know, I, I, I don't know. I, I don't think I can define perfection. I, 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 think, I think the best perfection is variety. Ooh, deep, right? Anyway, so yeah, I think I might have <laughs> derailed off whatever I was talking about originally there. Um, hopefully, I, I taught you something, whether it's part of the uh, the the boat away. Again, love that name. Whether it was um, something to do with the cities or just some of the rambling. Hopefully, something taught you something. If you did all enjoy the video, please do like it and let me know. Share if you liked it and subscribe if you're new around it. I make videos like this every single day on my channel. And if subscribed, you'll see them daily on your homepage. Next part, I think we've been going to the Never. You might have noticed we got 10 obsidian. Uh, because I actually really need um, to make a potion of weakness. And I just need to make a golden apple. But, you know, we need to do both those things. And the potion requires going to the Nether. So that's what we'll be doing next part getting a potion of weakness. Hopefully, in fact, actually, if we get some gold as well, because we have apples in the chest, uh, we can make us, uh, you know, actually start the village uh, right now. And that'd be pretty cool. So yeah, I'm looking forward to doing that. I'll see you all tomorrow for that.